Hello and welcome back to Battletech. Uh, we had a pretty sad episode last time. There, uh, we, we lost a pilot, so that sucks. Um, so I, I've been thinking about this. Um, you might take that to mean that the Marauder has had its day and um, we should retire it, right? Because, like, you know, it's not holding a candle up to uh, some of the beefier mechs. I don't think this is that this is the case, to be honest, because here's the thing. Let's look at our King Crab, which is, you know, debatably our heaviest mech. Um, I think it is actually our heaviest mech. And, uh, yeah, it is. Let's let's look at that for just a moment. The head has 45 armor. That's what that's fully armored, right? So the, the head has 45 armor and then it has like 16 internal and after that 16 is spent then the head is exploded right so if someone gets a really lucky shot with like say an ac 20 um especially an ac 20 i mean that would that would be more than enough um an ac 10 might even do it then uh, yeah i mean any mech is going to have its head explode that's what I've been doing. I've been blowing off uh, heads left and right with the Marauder. So I don't think that this is a, a sign that we should stop using the Marauder. I think this is a sign that we're, you know, our, our job is getting more difficult. And um, we we have to do what I've been saying we should do is, is uh, you know, train multiple pilots at once and make sure uh, they were equipped to handle our job, you know We right now have uh, four decent pilots, but we should train someone else up um, I do think that we could put um, either Mandrake or maybe even Decker In uh, the, the the Marauder and they would you know fulfill the needs of, of you know aiming for headshots um, I do want to do one more episode of doing little missions here and there. Um, I'd like to do maybe like a retribution or something. I guess, yeah, that, that those are our options is hide the evidence and retribution. Um, because I would like to actually try and get a Cyclops. I know it's overkill and it's not going to really serve me that well, but, um... I'd like to do that. I think that it would be valuable for us. Um, and like, yeah, as much as the Marauder isn't like, you know, irrelevant yet, uh, we're going to wait for these two battle mechs to have repairs done. Um, I think it would be good to plan ahead and, uh, you know, get something heavier to replace it. Um, let's do the hide the uh, evidence. Let's destroy the base. We'll take um, actually two of eight and six hundred thousand is really nice. Well, we're gonna have to figure out who wants to pilot it. Um, I guess Decker is as good as any, but I do want to start training someone else up. So we're gonna throw um, Bug in the Battlemaster. And hopefully they will have, um, they, they will be okay. They only have guts too, so they're probably going to have only like three health, which sucks. Do pause here so you don't have to watch this. All right. Let's see if we can get a win. This is an automated warning. You are entering a restricted area. Withdraw or you will be fired on. I don't know, Commander. They seem really serious. Maybe we should. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's wreck some stuff. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, we've gotten a lot of wins, and I mean, we honestly went an impressive number of missions without ever losing a pilot. On my way. Um, you know, did I hope that maybe some, some horrible luck would, would make it so that I could restart that mission and not lose my pilot? Sure. But like, I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't be made to feel bad for that. It's just because I liked that pilot a lot. Their kill count was insane. Hey commander, I got something on sensors. Oh yeah? Good to go. Let's see if we can't kill that thing right away. 
um making making the same mistakes i guess i think i mean like it's a marauder it's 70 tons it should be able to come over here we got a vulcan we don't have enough morale to do a precise shot oh this Mar mech warrior has low spirits that's the that's that is what low spirits does to you is uh your your pre <laughs> precise shots cost a little bit more and it's just exactly expensive enough that we can't afford it. Well, I mean, that's kind of a bummer. Got a Shadow Hawk. He hit with almost everything. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm just going to come over here with the, the crab and absolutely destroy everything. Um, what do I want to take out? My, my, I have so many choices. Let's go ahead and throw some missiles at the Vulcan and then shoot our lasers at the Shadowhawk. Look at that. It already set it up for me. They have some damage reduction, but that's okay. Unsteady. Lost evasion. We hit with everything on the Shadowhawk. This is good. So this is a uh, more long range business with the gauze rifle. Um, we could throw the gauze rifle at something. I'm wondering if we should shoot, just like focus on the Vulcan for a, a minute. Now nah, let's just go ahead and hit that uh, shadow Hawk. Hit it hard. There you go. Emma explosion pilot injured. Pretty sure it's dead. I saw it. Yo, I saw it though. It was good. Um, this battle master needs tweaking. I know I already tweaked it. I just don't like seeing medium lasers on something this heavy. Wow, bug. That was awful. Holy crap. You missed with everything, buddy. Uh, that's a wolverine do we have to worry about that i don't think we do let's just go ahead and uh you know put the put the final touches on killing this thing Roger. it's not knocked over are you gonna flame the marauder dang dude yeah i mean um a lot of missed shots are to be expected that's you know that's one of the benefits of tactician is not missing your shots um i think i'm just gonna go ahead and throw some more missiles at the vulcan i just want to take that thing out head hit pilot injured Uh, this seems pretty good. We can do a split shot. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Throw. Oh, that's a precision shot. I didn't mean to do, do that. Uh, I guess we could just like take out the Vulcan. Why not? On there we go. Nothing, nothing to this. Now, I mean, this this is going to suck for us. I don't have a lot of faith in Bug. Okay. I mean, he hit with the uh, the PPC. That was good. He even hit the, the, the head. That was pretty good, actually. Almost made up. Oh, we took two PPCs. Oh, is that a, that a, is that a turret with PPCs? move over here uh, i'm actually gonna spend extra yeah we can we could get a pretty good headshot here did we not hit it we did hit the head but it didn't it wasn't enough good to go um yeah uh, i'd rather sprint forward we're kind of losing ground here and I don't want the Marauder to be the only thing, you know, the only target available. 
I don't want to sprint, sprint towards this uh, hill here and then do a jump. It's wild to me that the crab can jump, but, you know, if it can, why not? Uh, let's see if we can get Bug to kill that little carrier there. We'll turn off the PPC. I mean, he hit with everything, but it wasn't enough firepower. The Battlemaster... Honestly, if I get a Cyclops, I might end up replacing the Battlemaster. Because if I already rearranged it like once and it's still not great, I feel like that is a, uh, a problem with the mech and not necessarily a problem with, um, you know, the weaponry. Um, we could just take out that turret up there. I kind of still want to take out this Wolverine with a headshot. So let's go ahead and do that. Plus two accuracy, plus two accuracy. These are both the same. Did I lose the, uh, a PPC? We did kill the head. That's nice. One left target. Um, let's see if we, yeah, we can jump up here. That's, that's good. That's a lot of, probably an insane amount of fuel to, to get that thing up there. Um, let's split our shot between this sniper turret and this vehicle here um that's a lot of firepower we're gonna be um yeah let's just do like this and then we'll turn the ppc off this seems like a lot i know but i'd rather take it out and it didn't even do it so that tells me that it was the right decision that thing is still alive okay good we're good Okay, let's see if we can't get a kill on that uh, sniper turret. This will probably do it. Here we go. There we go. The gauze rifle has some like extra damage, which is really nice. Okay, gotcha. we can have bugs start hitting buildings. They, pro they have more turrets, and they can probably hit us. No, they can't hit us. That's great. What's up, boss? Um, this is good. I'd rather, like, reduce our heat while also taking a shot. We can start lobbing LRMs over. Um, do we have a... We don't have a turret generator. It's funny, we don't seem to ever have a turret generator anymore that we can fire on. Can we hit anything? I guess not. That, that kind of sucks. Okay, I'm going to sprint up this. I think what's happening is we don't have line of sight on anything, so... Can we, like, destroy that wall, I wonder? Waiting on you, Commander. We can shoot something. I don't know what we're shooting right now. Affirmative. We're shooting that. Okay, shoot that then. Right, Commander. Almost destroyed it. Turrets still can't hit us, which is great. Can we, can we hit anything yet? Can't move up enough, so we'll have to sprint up. But that means uh, the Marauder is now in sight of the turrets. I hear ya. This is fine because uh, now all of our long range stuff can, can start firing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reserve some... I, actually, let's just like do a normal attack. Get rid of those turrets so that they're not just like picking on the marauder. Um, I don't know if we can hit. I guess we can hit quite a lot here. So let's see if we can't take out that turret and then take out that turret. Um, we'll. I guess we'll throw oh, our missiles at the other turret. Because this one's almost dead. In fact, we probably don't even need this much. 
Yeah, that's what I figured. I could like do the math and actually figure out how much damage I need to do, but I, I kind of prefer to just eyeball it. It's almost a pacing thing. And you know, at a certain point, it's satisfying guessing right, you know? Okay, let's uh take this thing out. Is that dead yet? It is dead. All right, Marauder has... We'll have line of sight on that turret. I don't think I like that, actually. We're very close to just, like, winning here. So let's go ahead and take a few more buildings out. The crab will probably finish that off. Not a, pre, not a uh, precise. I want to take that out. And... I guess we can sort of barely take this one out. It's weird. We don't, we can't actually hit with any missiles. So we'll throw um, the LRM 15. We'll throw the 15 at A and then we'll dedicate all the fives to B. Probably I should have done it the other way around and I didn't need all those rockets. It's fine. I suspect there will be, uh, like one more surprise, bef you know, after we've killed this, uh, building. Got it. <sighs> Still not dead. So, they tried to shoot me, I think they just hit the wall instead. I hear you. Roger that. There we go. The yeah, we get, get it to the LZ. I don't want to get it to the LZ. I'd rather just kill what's left. Let's uh, fire with everything here. We can probably take it out. I guess we were only shooting with uh, PPCs there. Almost out of missiles. I don't know if we have to like um, rearm in each mission. That was only a 20 minute mission. That was good. I think Decker's going to be okay in the, uh, the Marauder. Once he gets his morale back. It wasn't really anything worth taking. And, um, yeah, I don't... Like, I'll take two... Well, we have an AC5++. A lot of SRM6s. Good lord. That is a lot of SRM6s. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take Wolverine parts. Hope, hope that we get the last one. We did not get the last one. Shucks. Well, I can't uh, sell it then. All right, let's do that last mission and then see if we can't buy the uh, the last couple parts for the, the Cyclops. And then I'll do my campaign. If I said I was going to do the campaign in the last episode, uh, I'm sorry about that. I still might. You never know. I could complete this one pretty quickly. We'll see probably gonna want parts to be honest yeah we'll do we'll roll like this this is just a battle should be okay how long is decker gonna be like that i mean it's not the end of the world it's it just kind of sucks do a pause here all right let's let's uh this is this is gonna make me a little bit nervous because this is about as difficult as a mission I did that got um, Behemoth killed. You've arrived at the location our employer specified, Commander. Move forward, acquire target lands, and light them up. Keep an eye on our out for reinforcements. I get the impression these folks are a bit twitchy. Do you now? Do you now? Oh, that's that was quick. 40 tons, 60 tons. I should have leveled up, Bug. On my way. They got some XP, and I should have spent it immediately. That's gonna cost us. We have a Cicada. Ooh, they missed. Waiting for orders. Um, we're still not gonna be able to make a precise shot with Decker because of his bad morale. So I'm gonna go ahead and reserve him just for the time being. Waiting for the shot. Oh God. 
What is that? That is a lot of missiles. So let's go. We're going to use this mountain, hopefully, to, to you know, defend ourselves a little bit. I'm going to have to take out whatever is seeing us as quickly as possible. Oh, look at that. That... This is where uh, having that coil M would have been really nice because because of uh, because of all of its evasion, it would have just like melted this thing. Oh, uh, we missed with just about everything that matters. We did hit the head, though. That was nice. Yeah, that's not good. I hear ya. We're going to use this mountain. We're going to try and uh, kill this thing so that they it forces them to come up. Here we go. I would have said it, it, if it I wouldn't have knocked it down there, fight. then I don't I just don't know, you know. Pilot injured. Decker can probably take the shot now. Decker can take the shot without um, needing a precise shot. Which is good. I guess he's got the best shot right now. We could go for the head, but let's just play it safe. So now they're going to have to move up. They can't see us. How can they see us? What is seeing us right now? Oh, I guess, um, yeah, the crab was sensor locked. That's why they can do that. That really sucks. They're going to be hitting only the crab. Oh, God. Please stop. Let's, uh, we'll poke out with the battle master. So we got a dragon. That's fine. We're just going to do this to uh, reduce their evasion. Hopefully Decker can get a shot off. Because we should have... Yeah, we have enough for a precision shot now. Let's let's hope for the best here. 35% chance. Not bad. Not, not, not horrible. Wow, that, that kind of sucked. The stray shot is not great okay that was bad i'm taking heavy hits commander okay if i could take this you know what we're gonna take the shot from the forest so we get that damage reduction we didn't even hit the head so that kind of sucks so i'm gonna go for well we did blow out most of their weapons though so i'm gonna go ahead and aim for the feet there we go Knocked him over. There's... What is it? Five mechs over there? Good lord. We should be able to take out the dragon. Honestly, let's just go for the other leg. If we destroy both legs, I think it just takes it out. There's six mechs over there. Good lord. This is going to get really ugly. I'm really glad I have that damage reduction. Okay, let's take out that dragon at the very least. That didn't do it, huh? Wow, that really sucks. This is what I get for taking a new recruit to a mission like this. Uh, really sucks that we can't see that cicada from here. So we'll just have to take a normal shot. We have to reduce our heat, so I won't be taking it with all of our weaponry. Roger that. 
It looked like it hit the leg. My god. We're gonna blow off every single thing off this dragon before we actually kill it. Good to go. Got it. Okay. This is gonna be annoying because I'm gonna split our shot and I'm still not gonna kill that dragon. But I refuse to, you know, dedicate more weaponry to this thing. Um, I guess we can't... Can we do the gauze rifle on B? We can. Okay, that's worth it. Um, let's do the LRM-15 on B and then we'll do A's on, the, on this weakened dragon. There we go. Good. Good. Fantastic. We're not we're not throwing a gauze rifle at something that's about to die, you know? We're going to get hammered really badly this match. If I could take this guy out quickly, that would be nice. Um I guess we can't do it the way we want to do it. Um, we could blow off the arm. What's on the arm? Just a medium laser. I, I'd say we should just hit it. Honestly, I'm just going to aim for the head. We did hit it. That's going to soften it up for the Marauder. Oh no, the Marauder sensor locked. That's really bad. I should spread out my mechs a little bit. They're taking unnecessary stray shot damage. I I think that this is actually too spicy for us. Grasshopper. I don't I don't I've never seen that one. Yep. Inspired is good. Can we do something with that? We can just barely see that 65 ton mech. We could potentially take something out here. Thunderbolt. Locked on target. Nope. We have a Jaeger mech. I was going to say, hey, at least it missed, but it didn't miss because it had like several more things to fire. Um, an archer. There's a bunch of mechs here I've never seen before. Yeah, I don't know if we can do this. This is this is kind of insane. Did we even hit? The, we didn't even hit the, the head. Uh, yeah, I might honestly restart or, or load. I, I think this is just a, like way too much. Moving to position. So um, I'm going to split our shot again. Probably shouldn't. Oh, that dragon actually is almost dead. Uh, like it almost took a headshot. Um... Yeah, we'll do it like this. Firing on target. I was hoping that would be enough to take it out. I was wrong. Yeah, this is why I want something like I, I want more metal. You know, I want more heavy mechs on my team. Back up through my armor, Commander. Like we're not dead yet, but yeah, I mean, it's it's only a matter of time. <laughs> Did our leg get damaged? Yeah, it did. Um, would really like to kill that um dragon. Missed. 
I kind of want to not waste her time with this, to be honest. Uh, auto post mission, hide the evidence. We're going to do this. I, I just don't want to spend the rest of the episode, um, you know, fulfilling a foregone conclusion. I really don't think that that we had much hope there. I don't know if there's like, maybe I should have backed up. Um, let them come to me. There wasn't really a lot for, uh, uh, terrain in terms of like giving us an advantage. I usually like to make use of like water or anything that'll cool us down. Um, that wasn't really available. So I'm going to, you know, just chalk it up to like, we, we bit off more than we could chew and not worry too much about it. Um, now what I'd like to do, uh, I don't know where I was finding Cyclops parts. Can we not go there? Travel restricted. Okay. Yeah. Sucks. We could go to bring and dam. Uh, sorry, bring dam. Um, I, I, let's go to itch Langus. Actually, we'll go to bring dam first and then check their black market. I think I have enough. If I sell a bunch of mech, mech parts, I'll definitely have enough for uh, to complete a Cyclops. Um, this is fine. I mean, really bad timing, but it was going to happen no matter what. Samire catches your attention on the bridge. Commander, I've picked up a distress call from a nearby civilian transport. It's not exactly our job to assist in matters like this, but we may be the nearest ship available. She studies the d display. On the other hand, it looks like the ship's engines are in a critical state. They could explode before we get there. Investigate carefully. When the Argo arrives at the source of the distress beacon, a bleak picture greets you. The transport drifts aimlessly, no longer even venting oxygen from a gaping hole in its hull. While you're too late to help, your tech staff does manage to salvage some scrap from the mech bay from the floating, floating tomb. Grim work, but necessary for survival in the periphery. Oof. All right, we'll do a pause here. All right, let's see if we can't get something good. Uh, they have an awesome part, which we could actually use to complete an awesome. That's really nice. Um, but do they have Cyclops parts? They do have Cyclops parts. Wait, what the heck? Why don't... Oh, this is a different Cyclops. God, that's so annoying. So I have Cyclops parts that are not compatible with this Cyclops. And then here's a fully built Cyclops, which I'm pretty sure is the one that... Oh, I see. It comes with a battle computer. What is that? Plus one initiatives for all Lance units. I guess that's the benefit of built, um, buying like a fully loaded or fully built uh, mech is that you might potentially get a bizarro... Uh, component so if I we could buy the awesome part from the black market and pay almost twice as much could buy parts for the annihilator 100 ton mech sounds really good BSC system plus 20 ballistic damage plus 40 max stability I mean I would love to have an annihilator I, there's uh, no question but we're gonna complete this awesome um, seems like a good idea. Mech that truly lives up to its name. The awesome P 8Q, uh, 8Q mounts a frightening trio of PPCs that can destroy, knock down, or dis debilitate any target in no time. It's ungainly, but it can shrug off huge amounts of incoming fire. Um, we, we are going to equip that, but I still want my, um... Cyclops, so I'm going to head over to the other black market here And this is actually a better challenge rating for us. So we'll head over there and um, We'll probably won't not be able to afford the Cyclops parts at this point So we'll take some missions to complete that and before we continue our journey there We are gonna go ahead and check out the awesome and equip it Also, we have an Orion. I mean that's nothing to scoff at. I mean, it's a 75 ton uh, I don't know if this is necessarily a great mech. I don't know if I would replace some Marauder for it. I'm thinking I might sell the dragons. 
They're good, you know, they're, they're good standby mix, but I don't know. All right, let's refit the awesome. <clears throat> it does have an insane number of heat sinks. I'm going to take off the small laser and just give it some more armor. And I actually think that this is a just just better. Like, I could take off maybe one more heat sink. And that is going to give us a bit more. Maybe take off one more. And also, I'm going to put them in the legs. Okay. This is... This seems okay. What do you mean repair all? Okay, there's nothing to repair. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm cool with this. Three PPCs is is pretty intense, but that's fun. I like that. Might try that instead of the Battle Master. The Battle Master's really kind of let me down. I feel like the Battle Master should just be a wall of uh, medium to large lasers. Let's take off that PPC, put on another large laser, and another. We could put the Coil M on there. It's overweight now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm actually cool with this. This is, this could be better. I feel like this w should be better. Um, I guess the, the al alternative to this is, like, instead of the Coil M, how, how heavy is that? It's actually very light. I keep forgetting how light the Coil M is. All right, let's, uh, let's roll with this. This seems cool. Highlander is doing a good job. I, I kind of, I do like where, where it's at. I think if I was going to make a choice, I might get rid of the small, the support lasers because it can never get close enough and then put on like just an actual laser. That will make it overweight. No, it won't. Yeah, this is, this is, I think is better overall. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. <clears throat> um... So let's continue. Oh, we're going to want to um, level up Bug a couple times because he's like really just garbage right now. Oh, he's actually got quite a lot of tactics. Why is he missing so many shots then? Training confirmed, Commander. Um, yeah, I mean, we can level that up. Good to go. Decker can take some gunnery. Glitch can take some. Well, well, we'll just continue giving her guts. Waiting for orders. Standing by. All right. Continue. All right. Glitch arrives at your quarters, looking for some advice. What had started as a competitive training exercise in the training module has since evolved into a shipwide tournament was mixed lances of mech warriors and other crew. Glitch and Decker have been competing together. But Commander, Decker hasn't been pulling his weight, and my other two teammates are looking to me as Lance uh, Captain to do something about it. I'm feeling a bit stuck here. What should I do? Suggest Glitch hold extra practice. Glitch nods. You're right. Now's the time for everyone to step up. Later that week, you visit the training room and check the leaderboards. Glitch's lance has risen in the standings. She walks up behind you. Thanks for the advice. I wish I'd challenged the team even sooner. We may have made it into the finals, but next season we've got this for sure. Glitch has gained the following tags. High spirits. Nice. Maybe she should be in the Marauder. All right, we're here. Let's, uh, let's see what we can buy. Visit the store. What, 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 what have we got? Uh, fire starter. I mean, this is all whatever. LB two X. I wish we could get some uh, a bit more unique weaponry. And then what do we got at the black market? We got an annihilator fully built. We got an atlas fully built. We have an atlas part, which costs almost like as much as a full mech. Four million to to build an atlas two. Uh, that's sorry, not to build an Atlas 2, just to get one part. Four million. Insane. Uh, Highlander, 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 Stalker. I do want to make a Stalker. We don't have a Cyclops here. God damn it. 
No Cyclops? Really? We have another Marauder. Let's see what we have in terms of uh, missions. I might take one mission just to round out the episode, and then uh, next episode we'll do we'll do the campaign. Even though I don't uh, have the stuff I want, it's fine. This is a pretty good mission. Wow, a million and four nineteen for two difficulty feels too good to be true there. Yeah, let's do this. Two di like j just two. Um, so we're gonna swap out the battle master. We're gonna try the awesome. It is slightly lighter than the battle master, but I, I think it's gonna be better in some ways. Kind of want to swap. Let's swap glitch and Decker. Glitch is gonna be in the Marauder. All right. We'll see how this rolls. All right. I mean, you know, it's uh, don't, don't take the. <laughs> let's let's not read into this. Agamemnon again. All right, so we have to protect this lance. We got. Does that mean we have extra mechs again? I think it does. Um, you know, don't read into this. I I know that uh, the last couple of missions have been uh, have been rough. That's one of the reasons I'm trying to get some better mechs. Um. I'm not just taking an easy mission because I know I can win. <laughs> but also, I mean, like, why, you know, why not do something like that? Wouldn't that be a better, wouldn't that be a good idea to do, you know? Why not um, make the most of your resources and uh, train up your, your crew and uh, get parts that are, you know, risk-free rather than... Uh, Put, put slam them against a wall of mechs that is like completely indestructible there's a lot of actions happening here and none of them are mine <laughs> okay we're gonna have a sprint forward so we can actually get a line of sight on them Standing by. that way we can actually start firing on them on with the yeah, highlander They had a lot of evasion, so we missed a lot of shots there. Waiting on you, Commander. If I could get a nice shot. I need a win, you know? You, Commander. Moving out. This the, the the actual odds of hitting them here is not high. Commencing alpha strike. Oh. It's still worth trying, you know? I I do, I do firmly believe that it is worth trying. They missed completely. Okay, that didn't miss. I hear ya. Um, what can we hit with glitch here? We move over here, we can potentially hit something else, like the urban mech. But we're uh, almost uh, overheating here. We don't need to do this. It's just fun, honestly. We're getting those head shots. We're just not taking them out like we were. You really, I really do need to like hit the head with two PPC shots in order to, to get the kill. And the odds of that happening are not great. I have probably just gotten obscenely lucky many, many times. There's a hunchback. That's the hunchback that gets to have like 50 bajillion medium lasers, um, which is quite nice. Is it me? No. This is the problem with having like an extra allied group of mechs. I need to back up the Marauder. Confirmed. 
Um, we should like start to do things as like I, there was a time when I would blow off arms and stuff. Let's do that again. Let's aim for that shoulder so we just like completely knock off a bunch of weaponry. Critical hit, Commander. Back before I was like just exclusively doing headshots. That was a lot of weapons that it just took on the chin there. It knocked it over, but still. I hear you. Okay, so we're going to see what three PPCs looks like. No to tell me twice. That is going to build up quite a lot of heat. Commencing alpha strike. Nice. Another hit like that, that looks really cool, actually. Well, it's even better than two PPCs is three PPCs. Commander, I'm seeing new contacts. What? Really? More? This is quite a lot. I don't think we need more. Trying to line something up here. We do have enough for a precision shot. Let's um, let's try and get get a nice good old headshot. Actually, you know what the torso is better here I think we can actually yeah, we can take that out There we go Enemy down. You are you backing up What 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 are you guys doing? Like, there's a ton of mechs over here to kill, and are you, are you gonna leave them all for me? Damage. You guys moving up? There's another hunchback. Okay, I'm gonna back up, because apparently my allies are just, like, dirtling. Okay, they are, they are actually kind of moving up. We got a lot of mechs. Why is it? This is a two star difficulty mission and we are fighting like seven mechs. Okay, at least they took something out. I appreciate that. Apparently my main character is taking some like damage. Um, let's hit that hunchback. I don't like the idea of that hunchback existing. Apparently we can only hit it with our LRMs. Didn't get any uh, crits there. That's kind of a bummer. Location confirmed. Okay, we did knock it over. That's good. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, if we could get three shots on it with a PPC, that uh, with three, uh, we can't though. All right, we're gonna have to do. I would like to do a melee shot, a hit, but I guess I can't do that either. Dang. Okay, well we're just gonna run away, I guess. With the awesome. It basically only gets like one good shot unless I get some better heat um, Distribution then it's it's only gonna get one shot and then it has to wait a turn to cool down minor. The crab is overheating down. That really bites the flamer actually did a um, really excellent job there The Marauder is overheating as well, so that also sucks. We can't really do much right now. 
Wow, this, uh, this really bites. This is, like, really not good. Got it. I'll just do a couple of medium, uh, laser hits. Not sure what we're gonna do about the crab. These guys are, are really annoying. <laughs> They're, like, only hitting with their, like, short missiles. I guess I should have been backing them all, all of my dudes up, right? Okay, that's something. That's, that's something. At least they are actually hitting stuff. Okay, moving up. Cool, thank you. What a bum bummer of a... Oh, cool. We don't even get to take advantage of that hunchback getting knocked over. Yeah, the crab is going to take some nasty hits because it's shut down right now. So they get to call shots on it. So it takes a whole turn to restart the mech. Wow. Okay, we need to get rid of those fire starters. Especially this one. There we go. Probably didn't have to dedicate everything to it, but like for real, that was uh, kind of scary. The Vulcans are also um, like heat based mechs. They, they will heat you up rather than doing any like damage. But I do want to take out this hunchback. Firing everything I've got. Did, was that three misses? My God, it was it was one hit, but that's what I get. Again, like, you know, I'm putting the new recruit in the mech that only has three weapons that shoot once. I'm probably going to miss most of the time. A Highlander is not going to take some nasty damage there. Can we get a nice shot off on this Vulcan? Can we take it out? It'd be really nice. I mean, we hit it really good, but wasn't enough. We are wearing them down. We've... Oh, God. Well, at least um, they're doing that to the Highlander. The Highlander doesn't really build up any uh, heat, fortunately. Those are some good hits. I didn't realize there was an urban mech right in front of me. Is it, it was like hiding in the rubble there. I would like to have a lighter mech that can run around and have like a bazillion machine guns and just try and like kill the pilots inside rather than like, you know, killing the mechs. That would be pretty fun. Okay, I need to... Well, let's, um... Let's do this hunchback, first of all. And then let's do the, the guy on the ground. We're going to be dangerously close to, um... Overheating again. Vulcan on the ground is not dead. CQC destroyed. I don't even know what that is. Some more bizarre weaponry that I've never heard of. Um, let's try and take out the Vulcan. I'm not even going to dedicate everything to it. I think this will be fine. Yeah, I figured the gauze rifle is going to be enough. Okay, 
Okay, we need to shoot at something we know we can hit. So that urban mech is actually a pretty good candidate. Right, but it's right in front of us. Also, we're overheating again, so never mind. We're running away. Just to get some uh, some evasion and hopefully take less hits. We're fine. I don't think any of our mechs are exposed right now. Light damage. Holding firm. The Marauder's taking some hits. Good to go. Let's try and kill this Vulcan. Oh, our heat is really bad. You know what? Let's uh, just punch the Vulcan. Apparently, we only have a 40% chance of hitting it. Why is that? On my way. And we missed. What's the deal with the Vulcan being impossible to hit there? That hunchback is still a thing. Hunchback is punching the crab. Is that Wolverine at like full armor? Because I don't even remember. Yeah, it is. I don't even remember seeing a Wolverine. Is that Hunchback finally dead? Sort of. It's on the floor. Ah, oh, it's actually dead. The pilot got uh, killed. Flamer crit. This is good. Um, let's do some damage to that Wolverine. It's got an SRM-6 and an AC, so where's the ammo? Let's just hit that. Oh, we can't hit that left shoulder. We can hit the right arm, though. Sure, let's hit the right arm. AC-5 crit. AC-5 ammo exploded. This is all very good. And we're like dangerously overheating we'll just do this i mean it's it's just it really sucks actually yeah i guess we'll just have to do it this way what can i do for you okay um what else is left on the field there is this vulcan here i would maybe like to take that out Let's just hit the torso. Take this. Nice. I don't think we... We didn't kill it. We did hit it pretty hard, though. And at least all three shots actually hit it. Commander? Okay, let's um, try and get a headshot on that Wolverine. I want to I want I still want to go for the headshots. It sucks not being able to hit them as often as I was. Commencing alpha strike. I, I again hit it didn't didn't blow it off. But at least we knocked over the Wolverine. The Vulcan is overheating and all it did was kick the urban mech. These camera angles are something else, I'll tell you what. There we go. Our allies are actually being kind of useful. I wish they were a bit more, uh, you know, proactive. This is good though. They're they're shooting the Wolverine. Orders. 
We should be able to take out the Wolverine with the gauze. There we go. So just one thing left. Can't hit it with this. Uh, no, we can't even melee hit it. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be nice though? Crab's still taking hits. At least we didn't get exposed. Here we go. Blow off its leg. Knock it over. And that killed it. Nice. Done. Well, I mean, it was a by, a by the numbers mission and um, a little bit harder than I expected. I'm not sure what, uh, like, does, I wonder if the difficulty scales uh, at all. But, um, you know, at least no one was hurt. Actually, I think my character genuinely was hurt. Yeah, he's going to be down for 14 days. That's fine. Everyone got some XP. Um, we could take hunchback parts. Don't really care to do that. I guess I'll take the Wolverine part. We'll actually complete a Wolverine. There we go. I'll just sell that. So we'll sell that. Um, I might, uh, maybe between this and the next episode, go and check out some other black markets and see if I can't get a bead on the Cyclops before I start the next episode. Um, and that way we can we know what we want to do. I know I said campaign I think we'll do campaign on the next episode, but we're very close um, I really do want the Cyclops. I just think it's a cool mech and I think it would make a good addition to what we've currently got going uh, Maybe it's overkill. I don't really care, but um, Let's go ahead and sell the Wolverine That's a, that's a cool 400,000 so that'll do it for this episode. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.